Hey there everyone, this is Munir and welcome to my channel called The Little Box of Some Things. In 2019, when I started doing my freelancing, uh, I actually put up a video uh, regarding uh, how it was uh, for me once I started freelancing here in the UAE. And today I thought, well, it's been, this is actually my fifth year running and I thought I would look back on some of the points that I highlighted uh, in that video and uh, see if uh, I still agree with those points that I've made and is there anything that I can add into it. One of the first points that I highlighted in that video was actually regarding work ethics. And even in this day and age, uh, it's 2022 now, it, there is absolutely no change uh, in terms of how you should be regarding your work ethics. You should put in the same effort, whether uh, the client is small, whether the client is big, whether uh, it doesn't carry any money or whether it carries a, a, you know, a huge amount of money, it doesn't make any difference. You have to be the consummate professional in every single instance. Because at the end of the day, uh, even through uh, a word of mouth, even if it's uh, the client that you had a bad experience with, now whether they actually say anything bad, is another question but the fact that you were professional about it and as mentioned in one of the smaller videos uh, regarding actually having the paperwork ready it sort of gives you um, something to stand on because they know that you have done everything right from your side and it was something a lapse on their part that basically caused the relationship to sour if it ever does sour but uh, work ethics, there's nothing ha that has changed in that. It still has to be uh, one that has to be something that's actually you have to work on. And it should be very a very important thing that you do. The second point that uh, I highlighted in that video was regarding the financial aspects. Now, I do have a smaller video that I made, uh, which is part of the freelancer's journey that uh, I've linked down below in the description. And uh, again, having your finances sorted out before you even start your journey is, well, uh, I know I'm saying that everything is important, but it, it, these more, the four points that I did highlight in my previous video were, covered the most important uh, points that you have to be aware of before or whether you're thinking uh, to jump into freelancing from your nine to five. Um, so what I would say is uh, in terms of your financial health, make sure you have enough of a backup because you don't want to end up regretting that you jumped into it without having anything uh, in the bank. And when you start doing that, it basically affects uh, your output or your mood or your entire outlook towards uh, everything because when you don't have enough money in the bank it you're basically thinking how can I make money and you forget about enjoying the journey or even you forget about trying to build the business because uh, you are basically working in the business and not on your business so please have your finances sorted out and make sure it's enough for you to survive uh, during any lenient periods that uh, you come across during your freelancing journey. The third point uh, that I highlighted was to have everything in writing. And again, there's another smaller video which I've highlighted down below that goes into a little bit more in depth of what are all the different types of paperwork that you need to have ready uh, when you're starting your freelancing journey. And again, always, uh, have everything in writing because it saves you a lot of headache uh, any time down the line and it just uh, it always serves as a reminder because anything can happen uh, in business and you just need to be prepared for it and to have it down to have your agreements down in paper just makes it easier on you as a business owner. And the last point that I highlighted was basically understanding the competition. Uh, well, there's a lot that I can tell about the competition. It's grown even more. Anyone uh, with the phone or anyone with the camera or anyone which ha who has the smallest knowledge of uh, social media is now basically uh, competition for you, uh, so to speak. So uh, the field has just uh, gotten bigger. There are lots of people crowding in and uh, I would reiterate what I said uh, 
in my last video is to know the competition and just forget about them because if you start focusing on the competition you basically stop focusing on your business and that is a very risky road to take so ignore the competition and uh, just forge ahead again now there is one more point that i would like to add into this list and this has been added into it uh, because of the um, the change that it brings uh, to your freelance business and it is networking i cannot uh, emphasize the requirement for any freelancer to network uh, and i'll give you an example of uh, myself when i was running uh the when i started running the freelance business basically in uh, 2018 2019 uh, i had no idea i do not come from a business background so for me uh, i kept thinking that yes i have the skills so why am i not getting enough clients i have good amount of work i've gotten awards uh yada 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 and so i, I just couldn't understand what i was doing wrong and then i happened to just hear about some of the networks um that were happening uh, in and around the uae and i thought okay fine let me just try and meet new people and see what happens because uh two years down the line that was in early 2020 during the time when the pandemic started that was the time when i realized that if i don't do anything to actually change the course of where my business was going it was as good as dead and that is not something that uh, i enjoyed thinking about and just having the chance to network made all the difference i actually signed up for some of the networking sessions and when i attended some of these uh, sessions it made such a big difference um uh, the reason being uh all this time like i said i kept thinking uh, i have the skill so why am i not what am i doing wrong in my business uh that is causing me to lose out on clients uh is it uh is it me is it the quality of work what are people actually looking around for and what i found in these networking groups were actually the people i could ask i could show my work to and ask them what do you think is wrong with this and they could actually and most of them were like uh, they they had their own businesses they were running their businesses they have gone through the um sort of what you say the periods of struggle which i was going through and i'm still going through a little bit but it sort of gave, gave me a clearer understanding of what i was doing wrong and i could actually bounce ideas off of them and ask them like okay is this right what what do i do next what's the next step that i take and it just blew my mind because there were so many people that i could ask and the one of the best things about it is that in a networking uh session each of the people that you meet are not mostly are not in the same industry some of them might be from a digital marketing background some of them might be from the oil and gas industry some of them might be from the healthcare industry some of them might be from uh, education and it just helps you to focus and sort of find your ideal type of client because i was able to discuss and find the pain points of all these different uh people to understand okay what is it about my work that sort of uh appeals uh to that client or if there is any issue that uh, these clients have that they are not able to solve and i'm able to solve it uh like i said it just it just opened up my mind to new possibilities so anyone who is uh you know getting into freelancing or planning on getting into freelancing i highly recommend attending networking sessions on the weekends to meet new people to expand your mindset and for those who of us who don't actually come from a business background uh it provides uh such valuable insight that 
uh, it cannot be taken for granted. So I would request that uh, anyone in, in whatever type of business it is to actually spend the time networking and meeting new people uh, locally, internationally, it, it, it doesn't matter because I have actually done networking sessions with people uh, in India while I'm sitting here in the UAE. And here itself, I have actually networked with people, uh, like I said, uh, in different Emirates. And in some of the Emirates, it's actually different. So it, again, uh, it, it just sort of provides you with a little bit of extra insight that helps you sort of mold your business or mold your f career um, and to bring it into a level where you think, okay, this is this is something that I can do, that I can change and it'll bring me more success because ultimately I'm sure uh, maybe around 50 or 60 percent or even more than that of us freelancers would like to at some point own our own businesses and that is what I'm looking towards. So before you actually step into owning uh, your own business or let's say you're going to have a team underneath you, there's a lot of things that you need to be prepared for because I mean, in terms of finances, in terms of laws and regulations, into, uh, there's a lot of things you need to be aware of. Uh, and just being in those networks sort of, again, gives you uh, ideas where you can handle all of this. And if you are stuck anywhere, you can basically call someone up and ask them, hey, can you help me? Can you advise me? Uh, how do I do this? And it's it's been very valuable to me. And it's one of the things that I would urge anyone and everyone to do. And uh, with that, uh, I actually come to the end uh, of this small video. <laughs> now, apart from networking, there is actually one more point that I would like to add in, and that is marketing yourself. Now, along with networking, uh, I'm assuming that when you started your freelance career or before you started, you would have been putting your building blocks in uh, like advertising yourself uh, on social media or, you know, uh, via traditional means. It just gets a bit more harder if you don't do it. So again, marketing yourself, branding yourself, having your uh, own brand visibility, uh, increasing your brand visibility among your peers or among the clients that you want to target uh, it is very crucial, so do not ever stop marketing yourself. And with that, we come to the end of the video. I hope you found uh, my little tidbits of information useful, and uh, I do hope that uh, you can use it uh, as sort of like a template on your own uh, freelancing journey. So I wish all of you, uh, those of you who are jumping in, uh, who have already jumped in, all the very best, and I... Hope all of you have a successful freelancing journey.